and welcome to Morning Meditation. I'm really glad to be back doing a video. Uh, it's not morning and we're not meditating, but it is New Year and we're going to start a new challenge uh, toward my self-improvement, so thanks for coming along for the ride. We're doing the Minimalist Challenge. So if you don't know what the Minimalist Challenge is, you take 30 days to um, declutter. Start in day one, get rid of one item, day two, two items, day three, three items. Start out slow, gain momentum, it uh, gets easier and easier to go through your things, or that's the idea. I'm going to do mine backwards. A uh, couple of reasons, I've got a lot of stuff to declutter. I want to start in my closet, it doesn't make sense to get rid of one thing, uh, not when you see my closet, so just wait. And then, you know, if I, uh, you know, get bored with this challenge and don't finish it, at least have made the most progress right from the start. Also, I imagine by the time you're done getting rid of, you know, 30 things, 29, 28, whatever, I mean, that's a lot of stuff. It might actually get hard to find one more thing at the very end. So uh, it should be interesting. We're going to give it a shot. We're going to start with my closet, and I'll show you around. So right now we're in the spare room. I'm standing in front of my second closet. So I told you I had a lot of stuff to get rid of. Um, but to be fair, my closets are really tiny. It doesn't change the fact that they're cram packed full of stuff that I don't wear. So this is my second closet. Um, these are all my clothes. They don't fit in my first closet. I don't have enough room to put all my clothes away properly. Some of the stuff in here belong to my kids. Um, that might be a subject for another. We'll start with the clothes. Uh, I think I can manage. Um, oh God, I don't know what I'm going to get rid of. Okay, this is my first closet. I share this closet with my fiance. Um, he gets this space. So, um, I wanted to start with the back of this closet and then here's the problem. I can't get to the back of this closet. So it's clear that none of those things ever get worn, um, because I can't get to them. I couldn't wear them if I wanted to. Okay, I did it. Uh, I actually only got through my first closet, the one that's in my bedroom. So this was actually really easy. There's not anything. I have 31 hangers here, here and here, and there's nothing in here that was a difficult decision. I've got old work clothes that are so old they don't even qualify as work clothes anymore. This is from like a previous job. Uh, why would I wear that ever? I've got, oh my God, I've got a sparkly pink tank top. I used to love this. That was a while ago. I've got like, this is like, this is from the party girl era. These, um, I wear that to the bar <laughs> to go dancing. Uh, let's see. Oh, do you remember when clothes were see-through? Be able to see through your clothes. I don't know why. Uh, tank tops. I mean, this one's actually nice and it's in good shape, but it's really bright for me. That's, that's all there is to that one. This one I liked. Um, it was actually from my current rotation, but the last time I wore it, I just, I noticed some stains on the cuffs and I told myself it was going to be the last time I wore it. And then I washed it and put it back in the closet. So I'm just kind of holding myself to my word on that one. Oh, then I've got, let's see. Oh, these are old. These are like, so it's like a kind of almost a muscle shirt. I don't know. It's the same style, like muscle shirt thing. I had that in several colors. Uh, old tank top. Oh, a fleece vest in light blue. And, uh, this is like, this is one of my favorite examples of like the crap that's in my closet. Like the sleeves are tiny. It has this tiny pocket with a tiny heart. And like, I'm, I'm too old for that. That's dumb. This used to be in style, but it's not. Same with this. Oh, this was, this was one of my favorites actually, but it's not it's not current. And this is more from like the see-through era. Why did we wear our clothes like that? I have no idea. Oh, and this stuff, oh, this is from like my office girl days when I thought I was going to have an office job. These are nice, but they're actually, the bottoms are really wide. So they're just, they're from a different decade. So yeah, I used to wear a lot more color. Um, I've got, oh yeah, like lots of more see-through. See-through and office because I guess I thought that was going to be a thing. Some of these, a couple of these pieces were actually Stitch Fix pieces that they were my, probably I might have sent them back except they give you a 25% when you buy all the five of the pieces. So if there's one you don't like as well, 
uh, you might as well keep it. This one I liked, but it kind of looked a little maternity on me, so we won't keep that. That's not a look that I'm into right now. So that's it. Day one is done. Went through the whole closet. 31 pieces. I don't know what we'll do tomorrow for 30. I will definitely think of something. There's plenty, plenty of stuff around here. So I could do more clothes. Maybe I should do more clothes. I might get bored doing more clothes. But we'll see. We'll find out. Tomorrow's a new day. Um, but this was great. This was a good, good, good start. I feel really good about this. I'll get all of these uh, to the thrift shop, the consignment shop. Um, we'll, we'll get them, you know, to continued good use. Uh, but at least they won't be hiding in the back of my closet where I don't even know what they are anymore. Oh, I even found a shirt I didn't even know I had. I tried it on. It looked good. I'm going to keep it. I can't get rid of everything. One step at a time. I'm so happy I did this. I hope that somebody's maybe inspired to do the same. Uh, if you like the video, click like. And if you want to see what we do tomorrow, uh, click subscribe. Thanks.